This is Fred Beck from Fred Dogs Fighting. I'm joined over Zoom by Pully Arif. It's been a while since we last heard from you, Pully. How you been? I've been good, mate. I've been good. How have you been? All good, all good. Just can finish another interview. I did, um, do you know the Nelk boys? Yeah, you interviewed them. I did uh, Jesse. He left Nelk. He's now started his own business, who was Sunday. Oh, I did you, Jesse. That's always been like, okay, I've always wanted to interview him. So it's quite it's quite nice. Nice little. Congrats, that's it. Well done. But what have you been up to, though, apart from the training? Well, have you been back training, actually? Have you been back in the gym? I've training a bit. I haven't been back as much as I should have been, mate. I'm not going to be really lying. I've been partying. Really? Yeah, but I'm go. I'm back at I'm back at training now, innit? Um, because I want to fight Ace. I want to fight again. Like I should have carried on training, but I don't know. I just started going out, and then I got used to too used to going out and not training. But I'm I'm starting to be more disciplined now, and I'm back to training now. Do you get recognised a lot more when you go out because you fought? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Since Misfits, hundred percent. But um, it's fun. It's fun. I've, I enjoy. I enjoyed fighting on Misfits. And I just I can't wait to be back on there. To be fair. How are you finding like getting recognised out in public now? Because it's quite a switch. Obviously, not getting known that much. So everyone kind of everyone who knows Misfits knows you now. Yes, to be fair, it's all right to be fair. But I just see it as like motivation to carry on doing it because I just want you know what I mean. I I just want um I, I'm getting recognised for the right reasons. Some people on social media get recognised for the wrong reasons. Um, so it's actually quite good, yeah. Mm. And obviously, you signed that the deal with Misfits. Is that a free fight deal you signed with them? So it's I've only fought once, and there should be three, three or two more, two or three more, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um. But speaking of training, when someone says that they be training a bit, that means like once every two weeks. Is that how it's been for you? No, like twice a week. Oh, okay. That's not that bad. That's all right then. That's not too bad. No, nah, it's not. I I want to be training at least five times a week. Mm. Like I want to be. Re- I want to. So when I <clears throat> get called up for a fight. Like, because with Misfits, I could get called up flipping. I could get a phone call tomorrow and say, oh, someone's pulled out. You've got a fight in two weeks. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, want, I always want to be ready. Things can be quite last minute at Misfits. But yeah, exactly. media-wise, have you, you started doing YouTube more, pushing a TikTok. Have you been doing any of the socials? Bro, I've been doing TikTok a bit. Not as much. To be fair, I don't know. Recently, I've just been, I've gone into this. I don't know. I haven't been doing as much. I want to start YouTube, but I don't know how to edit. I don't know how to. I don't know what to post. I don't know what to. What to? You know what I mean? I always my struggle. Videos, with three. My videos aren't hard to edit. Bleep the swear words and cut the start, cut the end. Yeah, but I don't know how to do any of that. Cut a few, cut a few parts out. But it's, it's, it's quite I, simple. I don't even have to. I don't even know how to do a TikTok. Like I just duet someone or stitch something or just put click the play button and just do that. But I get. I don't know, I probably get at least two messages a day from people saying, Fred, I'll edit for you. If you put a tweet out or you put an Insta story out saying, any editors, please hit me up. I'm sure that people will, people will DM me saying, oh, I'll edit for you. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, true. Um, but I don't know what to post on YouTube. I want to do, like, um, something to do with boxing. Like, <clears throat> well, you can do a day in the life, my boxing training, reactions. I, I thought... A poem... no, they're boring. Though. <clears throat> Sorry, day in the life's are boring, I think. Like, I'd want to do, like, well, a reaction to the, I think a common video for you, reaction to the Dean fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, yeah, I want to do videos like um, uh, HS Tiki talking Ed Matthews on it. Like, no, like the beta squad done it, like paying strangers to have a fight. Like, I, I go off with one of my mates, and then um, so I, yeah, my mates go off, and then we find two complete strangers, and then we pay them. Then they, we, they have a boxing match, and then you put pay the winner. Remember, what, have you seen that video from the Bayer squad? Yeah, that's good. Apart from you find someone who, who looks like an absolute idiot and you can't, you think can't box and they turn out they can box. So you got to be careful. No, but it would have to be two people who, like, you. I'd have to make them shadow box. You'd have to make them shadow box. <laughs> well, they shadow box really badly with the elbows up, chin up in the air like that. Yeah, <laughs> like that in the fight. <laughs> yeah. I've seen people do those before and I, think, I always think, okay, at some point, after doing these videos for a while, it will go wrong. Um, but yourself, though, Obviously, Misfits is the only planned. I don't, I'm not sure I'm going to say this, but it's only planned up to 008. So the rest of the year is free. You've got a lot of opportunities to get on the card. The next UK one after this KSI one is the August one and then Cardiff in December. So do you think you'll be fighting abroad or when do you think you'll be fighting? I, I want to fight during summer, to be fair, because 
it will stop me from going out. It will stop me from going on holidays. It will stop me from doing all this shit. And I want to. And I, I. Not even. It's not even that side. I genuinely just want to fight again because I want to. Because obviously my first fight at Misfits was against the pound for pound best person in our weight category, which and I went all four rounds. Yeah, I got dropped, but I went all four rounds with him. And you know, what I mean, it. It was a good fight to be. I think it was a good fight. But loads of people thought it was a good fight. Um. So I want to just fight again. To be fair, I don't really care who I fight again. I just want to fight again. I want to fight someone who's had, you know what I mean, three fights, three social media fights, no amateur experience, someone who's been boxing about a year and a half. I want to fight someone with the same experience as me and then let's go from there. Who? Who's there then? I don't know what experience people have got. I know that either NNA Productions. Yes. I, I think he's probably got around the same amount of experience as me. I don't really want to call out Evil Hero because he's pretty much like a journeyman for social media boxing um it's just like everyone just calls him out because they think, think feel like it's an easy win so but if that fight gets offered to me i'll take the fight um people want me to i was on tiktok live the other day and people are telling me to have a trilogy with tommy but i fought him once on sunday smoke and i won but everyone's saying that he should have won then we fought on kingpin and i pretty much won all four rounds and people are saying we should have a trilogy because it's basically one all but and it's a very good fight. Like me and Tommy, the way we, I don't know how to say this. You might have to edit this back, but the way we market our fights is are so good. Mm. Well, the trash or the build up to it. What's what you want? Yeah, the build up. Like, Influence. Yeah, like the, build, about. like the build up to it is so sick with me and Tommy because there's always tension there. The build up to me and Tommy is so good. And I know Tommy. I've spoke to Tommy on live the other day, and he said he's on having a trilogy if it's on Misfits. That's quite. And good. that's like. That will, hey, Tommy does a lot. He does TikTok, doesn't he, Tommy? Tommy's probably one of the biggest TikTok creators in the UK. Like, like live creators, like not like followers wise, but like live creators. He, he's he's probably one of the most well known TikTokers. Okay, I'll speak to Mams. I'll send Mams a text after this and seeing if that's enough. Yeah, up. speak that's to him. Speak point. to him and see, say say to him like, obviously we fought once on just like Sunday Smoke. He might know what that is. And Tommy won. Well, I won, but everyone's saying Tommy won. I'll say it's a draw. I'm not going to say Tommy won. And then we fought on Kingpin and I battered him. But people are saying, let's have a trilogy. And I think our trilogy, like, there's not many people in Misfits who probably know about Tommy yet. But, like, they will, maybe, if they watch TikTok. And mine and Tommy's, like, trash talk and mine and Tommy's stuff that, oh, it's just sick. Hmm. Because I spoke to Waleed and Waleed is like, I really want to fight Pulley. I want to fight Pulley. I was like, Oh, mate, that's one person. I'm, I'll say this with chess. That's one person I am not fighting. Fuck <laughs> that. I'm not fighting him. He can call me out. Unless there's serious money on the table, I am not fighting that guy. Unless it's a big bag, like 100 grand. Unless it's a grand, huge like, okay. bag, I am not fighting him. Like, fuck that, bro. I'm, that's just think, me being honest. Who do you think wins the rematch between Dean and Waleed? Waleed. Oh, really? Who do you think wins? I've got to say non-biased, because I, I actually interviewed Dean, like, yesterday, and then we need, like... Who do you think wins, Fred? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I meant the, <laughs> the issue I've got is, right, everyone hates each other, or everyone likes, or everyone's fighting each other, and I'm basically kind of mates of everyone on the scene. So it's very, it can be quite difficult being like, okay, I can't be biased, I can't be look like I'm too friendly with that person, because they might not want to do an interview. So it's quite hard balancing everything. Alright, you <laughs> you you have someone in your mind though, isn't it? Um for this one. You thought you've mu- everyone's thought about it and you <laughs> you must know. Because I know Dean watches a lot of interviews or Dean will watch it and we'll need to watch this. Hmm. You <laughs> don't have to say don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> no, I, I don't I, know I though. I don't know. It's so split though, because we needed a great last performance, but then the guy wasn't too experienced. But then Dean, I guess people were a bit critical of his performance against you. Then he hit the injured shoulder and then you put up a good fight. So I guess it is very, very evenly well matched. That is a true 50-50 fight. And it's what boxing doesn't really get much of nowadays. It's just why. Yeah, yeah. No, I am excited for it. To be, fair. I, to be fair, if that's the main card in the next... I think they might be fighting in the summer from what I saw on Happy Punch. If that's the main card, I wouldn't mind fighting on the undercard of, of that card. It'll be in like, America, it, Tampa, Tampa, Florida. Yeah. They'll be the main event. Yeah, I would love to fight in America. I'd, I've never been to America. I'd love to fight in America. America's good. It's good. But when I go to America, all the like, when you go to the supermarket, it's funny. There's a lot less like chocolate and sweets. But say you have a Kit Kat over there, there's so much more sugar in them. 
the sugar is like is it? yeah so it's not they're not actually very nice have, have you had a mcdonald's in america is it true that like a normal meal is like massive i don't know about massive but everything's a lot everyone's got everything's a lot sweetened up everything's just like exaggerated over there isn't it? yeah but like, it's still, still a little bit more but even like all the healthy stuff is still like really sweet yeah now i would i would love to fight america obviously i wouldn't have the support of like my mates and other people there and stuff, but like it's, it would just be an experience, and I don't really. You would have to fight in America though if you're fighting America. Huh? You'd have to fight in America, and you're gonna fight in America. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Of yeah, that. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and an A from America. He's from Dubai. Evil heroes from America, and he's training with Dean. Never know. He's training with Dean now. Yes, because Dean's moved to Brickhouse Boxing, and Brian Gloria, and Brian trains Evil Hero, and he also trains Dean now. What Dean's not with the same guys that he was with at, with at, no, when he no, fought he's, me. He's switch, no, he switch coaches. He's not with Jack Rabbit. Who, uh, who I don't know them. Like, who's the better coach? You got Ivan, and you also got Brian Valori. I don't know. I'm not sure. They're both very, very good coaches. To be fair, I think the issue was for Dean. He wanted more like one to one time, but Ivan's got so much going on. It's quite hard to give one person one 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 to one time. We got like ten other fighters. Where for Brian, he trains a lot less fighters. So he's able to do a lot more one-to-one -one coaching of his fighter. Mm. That's good to be fair. I've been I'm um, I'm going training with Salt Pappy's coaching. Oh really? Solomon? Yeah. Is that full time or like here and there? Uh I'm not too sure. I, I can't don't think it's gonna be full time, but we'll see what happens and I'll probably stay stick with my coach for now. But um yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, interesting, interesting. But, but yeah, yourself, I'm gonna you, know, yourself, you you reckon you'll, you'll be out twice more this year, once this year? How, how do you see it going? Twice, hopefully twice. Twice. Should it be twice? Yeah, twice. I think twice. Yeah. Well, if you're gonna fight twice, one will be overseas. What about the Ibiza card, thirtieth of September? Yeah, mate, I'd love to fight. <laughs> I, know, I know all my mates would come to that as well because they'll just book Ibiza for a few days and it'll be ledge. Like, oh, mate. You I'd can love drink to at eighteen. You can drink at eighteen and I'll be for can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's good. To be fair, when you're abroad, it doesn't matter what age you are. They don't give a fuck. To be fair, you just drink when you want. You that's like, cool. I was, I was in Zanti when I was eighteen, and the amount of like seventeen, sixteen year old lads out there who were just walking into clubs and you were well, ID. Like, I looked flipping fifteen when I was eighteen, nineteen, and I was just you just walk into clubs and they don't really care. We'll see what happens. If I go to Ibiza and they check my ID, they think, okay, they're Actually, all... in, a, in Ibiza, it might be strict. You're 18, though, aren't you? Yeah, I'm 18, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, it is 18 in Ibiza. Yeah, it is. Mm. Mm. But I think even if we're not on the card, still come out because everyone, it's good, even it's still good networking. Like everyone's going to Ibiza. Everyone will be walking around us with sunglasses on. Yeah, no, nah, if, it, if, yeah, I'll, I'll still come if, even if I'm not fighting. Like, I'm coming. Are you going to KS? You'll be at KSI's one, well, won't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next week. Yeah, I need to. Get tickets for that actually. Now you've now I've thought about it. I haven't got tickets for us. I'll message Mam and hopefully you can sort me out a couple of tickets. If you're a message science fighter, you should you should but I'm here so you will get tickets. Yeah, yeah, I'll speak to him. I'll speak to him. Mm, that's pretty good then. Fight are you fighting? Care KSI, Joe Fournier, Deji is a sport. No, are you fighting? Am I fighting? But not yet, not yet. That's I'm holding off. Until the bag you're is right. offered, and you're like, okay, you're right. yeah, trust. I've nah, had, I have, Mavs has offered me fight support and like certain like man money, and it's always, I've always been happy a bit, but it's never been the right time. Then Misfits is here to stay. I'm 18, you got time on your side. Yeah, there's no rush to be fair. And I want to no build rush. the channels with that. It's only on 70k, like it's nearly on 80k. That's not that big for a YouTuber. I hope for like YouTuber, it should be like 100k plus. Then you're like, okay, that's kind of cool then. But you're still when you have the when you have that plaque, yeah. When did the plaque here in the background? Like I'm the man. <laughs> Where are you now? Are you at home? Um, no, I'm in. Uh, I'm in Norfolk with my grandparents. I was gonna say that's not your usual setup. It's a nice. I like the setup more. It looks cooler than like the. Is North that like is that wallpaper? Is it like no, no, it's from garage? brick. Yeah. Oh, you're in a garage or something? No, I'm in the I'm in the little house. So. Nice room tour. You ain't seen the house of my grandparents since August. It's always been away doing all the misfit stuff. So, I'm gonna see there for a few days, but. I think for you, you know, you need to get your YouTube set up and up and running. Having your first video, Mate, I need to get everything set up and running. Now I've done, now I've done this interview with you, and now I've f f got it back. Like I'm like back on the interviews and stuff. I'm gonna do you. What well, I don't know how to. Oh, 
mate, I'll think of ideas and I just need to think outside the box. Oh, my first video would be a reaction to the Gene fight because normally your first video will get the most amount of views. You should have redone that video like a day after the fight, even when you're just talking mm. straight to the camera, like an iPhone video, upload straight to YouTube. But you still do it now. It's still do quite good numbers, probably. Then I don't know predictions or I guess that video of the street boxing. Um, I can do um yeah, and I can do like a vlog of me going to the KSI fight. To be fair. Yeah, that's true actually, because you get some good footage there. Because everyone will be going. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna start, and I need to start opening TikToks as well. Because I, I I heard what KSI Mam said. Yeah, everyone's day. heard it now. Everyone's doing content again. It's funny. Yeah, I ha- yeah, people have been retiring to do content now. It's getting that bad. And then Jay, then Jay um announced today that he's stopped now. Yeah, I, I reckon Jay will come back though. I have a feeling no one ever really retires from the boxing. I reckon he'll come back in like a year and a half. I, yeah, I I think for Jay it'll be a year and a half and he'll come back. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. I'm, I I I usually usually post content, but I know I've never really no. That's I've never really been a content creator it's just all my followers have came from fighting on um sunday smoke mm. Mm. you know what that sunday smoke is yeah it's on the, all the tiktok lives tyrone yeah on the, on the instagram live that's that pretty much all my so like, all my instagram followers have came from there and then like obviously my tiktok followers have kind of came from there like, from my instagram followers and then obviously i've just built up a little bit over time but i've I have got plans to make content with, like, I'm going to meet one of my mates, Ben. I don't know if you know who Ben is. One of my mates, Ben, who's does TikTok, and we're going to start creating content and stuff. And we do want to start YouTube, but we don't know what to do. But we need to, like, we can just start it off with our phones, and then if it gets bigger, we just buy cameras and stuff. I would, I'll just get cameras straight away. If you're going to be an influencer boxer, you got to have the YouTube banging. You got to have the YouTube running. Yeah, I think first video, get a reaction to care sci fight. And make sure you get that video up on the Sunday so it catches the care, it catches the rhythm or the algorithm on the KSI pipe. So for all my interviews, I'll upload them. So this one can go out like next week, this week. It doesn't particularly matter because it hasn't got a sell by date. There's no like immediate rush to get it out. Um, but for the KSI fight on fight night, I always upload all the interviews I do on the day. I upload on the same day. Like after I've done it, it's up online in, like ten minutes because it's like it's on the trend. It's on the algorithm. Everyone's talking. Yeah. About it. It'll do a lot more views, a lot more numbers. If you get it up on the same day, or if you hold it for two days, to so do about half or a quarter of the numbers that should have done. Yeah, yeah, true. So if you're yeah, yeah, right. blog, I'll get up on the Sunday. So go back home, edit it. If you're not too tired, edit it and get up by like eight o'clock the next day. Yeah, now we'll. Can I can I record them? Or can I do it on my phone? Yeah. Or yeah, I can record them on my phone. To be fair, what I can have. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I can just get one of them phone. I can just get one of them phone holder things in and just hold it. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Pony Arrow, and I need a bit more than that. <laughs> Fucking hell! Nah, I'll get I'll get the room a bit soon. <laughs> I don't know if I can ever do vlogs. I don't know. I find, I think I'd find it cringe for us to do it. I'm not sure. Well, it's always crossed my mind a little bit because a lot of crazy stuff goes on when you're not doing interviews. There's so much stuff that goes on behind the scenes that people just don't. see. Yeah, you get like you get like if there's just been a fight like in a press conference, you'll get the reaction after it, not that. Um, like you'll get, but that's the best bit to get because then you'll, you you see the emotion of the people, and like how they're feeling and stuff. I think the way you do it, sick. Like, it's fun. I I always thought if I had a camera following me, it would probably catch it so much more. I reckon. Even behind the scenes, you're at home, and I'm on the phone for like an hour doing some sponsorship like stuff, or like I'm trying to like some rebrand or merchandise, trying to set up a website, kind of doing all the stuff yeah. behind the scenes, which is really boring stuff. But then. I guess it'll be quite interesting for others to see. I don't know. It's interesting. There's lots of different things you can kind of develop with the content. It's exciting. Yeah. You want to make sure you yeah. stay... The interviews are the bread and butter. It's going to make sure you stay sick of these. But your Instagram, yeah, yeah, yeah. Instagram is still pretty strong. 50k on there. That's not doing bad. Yeah, I want to hit 60. I'm on 57. I want to hit 60. But I just need to start uploading on there. Like, I, I don't upload on there unless, like, either have to or like it's just after something's happened where i know it will do well but i just need to upload on there and not care about that because as a creator i haven't really got to be worried about my what my likes look like mm. you know what i mean yeah and even for yourself i find it crazy how you actually haven't done the content because you just came off a decision loss against dean the great one of the biggest stars in misfits boxing and a decision loss you didn't get stopped or anything like that you got dropped once so that was it i mean you still i think you're kind of underrated you think okay, let's get this content out. You build your style even more. Yeah, no, you're right. I, I'm going to, especially now. I've got I'm obviously, I'm probably going to be fighting again in the next couple of months. So I, I want to like, you and know what I mean? Fight when you fight. Make sure you got a camera person 
following you on fight night as well. So before the fight, during the fight, and after the fight as well. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Because those do good numbers and views, and it's like, people always find it really interesting to see what happens after in the change rooms and beforehand, warming up. People find that really interesting. I think it's Showtime Sports. They do, and they've released the Ryan Garcia, Jordan Davis one. I think it's called the Epic. Yeah, that was sick. I've seen a bit of that. That's what people like to see, like beforehand, where everyone's talking shit. The clips you don't see, the clips of the camera, and the TV cameras don't see. So I always find that quite cool. But Pulley, I do appreciate you coming on. I'll put your Instagram link in the description. But hopefully, hopefully I'll see you next week, next Saturday. Yeah, all right, bro.